Money Matters in association with CIA Tax. Hello and welcome back to Money Matters where we are talking all things money and of course why it matters for the moment with Dr. Steve Enticott, a seasoned accountant with tips and tricks helping us understand why our money matters. Good to see you, my friend. As always, thanks for your time. Yeah, good to be on, Mike. Money matters because the more money we have, the more choices we have. We love our viewers on Ticket Money and we want to make sure they have as many choices as possible. What we're seeing at the moment though, and this is a topic today, Yep. Uh, we're in a recession, whether it's a real recession or a technical recession or whatever's happening, we all know things are a lot harder than what they were in the past years. So we are in a recession. And I'm getting people coming to me a lot complaining. Yeah and um, I'm really hurting, or my loan's not going down anymore because I've got higher interest rates to pay, um, I feel terrible. And uh, as a chaplain as well, I would look at people and I go, don't feel special. Um, this is how it's meant to be in a recession. No one wins in a recession, or no one really wins in a recession. Yeah. What happens in recessions is we all do badly. Everybody does badly. Great. So if you're doing badly, feel normal. You're meant to be. <laughs> the people that do really well, are the people that survive to thrive. So I want to move it to a position where we're going, instead of getting upset about not doing well, yeah. to a point of view of go, this is a recession, it's about surviving through this period of time, and the ones that do better will thrive better later. So this is actually a marvelous opportunity. Okay. So move your mindset into, well, I am surviving, be grateful, all right? Okay, so then you've got to move yourself into a position of who's going to do best when we come out of an economic down and move into an economic up. And the people that do well are the people that come out with low debt and good assets who can then re-borrow quickly and, and harder to pick up on the boom and uh, asset prices rising. So we've got to go, I'm not doing well, okay, but I am surviving. Mm. I am grateful that I'm surviving now, how do I position myself to become someone who can thrive? So this is a wonderful opportunity to reframe it and go, all right, things are tough. They're probably gonna to be tough for a little while yet. Yeah. But what comes after a bust, Mike? A, a train? Yeah, <laughs> boom, bust, boom, bust, boom, bust. Oh, a bust, that's so when we're in a bust. bust. <laughs> oh, sorry. But when we're in a bust, <laughs> a go boom. to a boom. Yes. It's just a matter of when, okay? It might get bustier, <laughs> to use a silly word, it might get worse. But there is another boom. There's always another boom. Uh, on the, on the so when side, you're in a recession, yeah. know that there's going to be boom times again. So if, your advice for people who are sitting there perhaps complaining and looking to change their mindset and yep. who are open to changing their mindset. Absolutely. What are we doing? We're sitting down. We're taking notes. Uh, yeah, we're looking, fun, looking at what's happening in the world. What, where should we be looking yeah, at? Yeah, it's a stock take. You've got to sit there going, okay, change your mindset as we've discussed. Okay, it is a recession. I am meant to be going badly. There is good times coming. How do I position myself for those good times? You need to look at your debt position. Mm -hmm. If your debt is overwhelming, the way recessions end is usually with a bust, and the way they bring that bust on is they keep increasing interest rates until people go bang. And then they can reset interest rates lower, which starts another boom. That's a traditional boom-bust cycle. So if you're heavily burdened with debt, now's not the time to be in debt, all right? Because there will be a further bust. That's generally how they end. So you've got to look at it and go, if I'm gonna thrive, I've got to take a hit now I've got to look at reducing some of that interest expense, which may mean selling an asset, all right? Or it may mean re readjusting your, your portfolio. So I will be in a position to thrive when it comes out. So boom bust is all about survive and thrive. The ones that go broke are gone. The ones that survive really, really well through a recession are the ones that do really, really well outside of a recession. So survive to thrive, change your mindset. If you're surviving, great. All right, now moving to thrive. Based on what you've seen, how long generally do these sort of low periods last for those who uh, might just be riding the train and trying to keep up with it all? Yeah, usually shorter than we think. Okay. So, you know, I'm always an optimist. I'm always a bull yes. at the gate. Okay, so that's, that's my bias. But I think, you know, when things crash and they go into a negative mindset, which we've seen uh, right around the world, central banks moving interest rates up really quickly. All right, that's going to bring on a, a sudden stop at some point. Some might argue that's actually happening now. Um, and I tell you what, as soon as they see that there's a, a significant amount of market fragility, they'll quickly reduce interest rates mm. or start to wind back on it. And, um, and then those assets will start to become a lot more attractive and start to go up quickly. So shorter than normal, normally. Absolutely. Good answers by you. And Dr. Steve, thank you for bringing this to our attention and, of course, discussing uh, how we can hopefully thrive. Survive, 
be grateful, now thrive. Good stuff from you. And of course, thank you to all of you for joining us on the program today. I hope you've learned something. Times will change. Let's ride the wave. Thanks again for your time. Be well. Thank you.